if you've got a family with a sweet tooth like mine, this will be the perfect dessert to have them coming back for more. Start with 900 grams of full fat cream cheese. Then add 200 grams of caster sugar and pour in 150 mils of sour cream. Then I'm going to add three tablespoons of plain flour. Adding that bit of extra flour means that it kind of thickens up the mix and it draws out any of the extra moisture because you don't want a, a soggy cheesecake. Let's skip dessert, said no one ever. Throw in three beaten eggs. Last little bit, which is my favourite bit. I'm using two teaspoons of vanilla bean paste. You get those lovely black flecks running through. Pour into a baking tin and then just level off the top. And then get it in the oven at 160 for one hour. Once the hour's up, turn the oven off and leave the cheesecake in there till the oven is completely cool. This will help stop it cracking. Good night, cheesecake. As if a cheesecake isn't delicious enough as it is, I like to serve it with a honey salted caramel sauce. Start with 50 grams of butter, and while it's melting, spoon in 170 grams of set honey. Let it bubble away until it's a light brown. Then switch off the heat and add in 300 mils of double cream. And finally, the salty bit, a good pinch of rock salt. After a mix, set it to one side and leave to cool. And now on to the base. That's not the base, but is the base, but it's the top. You get what I'm saying, right? So I'm starting off with a zip seal bag and I'm going to pop some digestives straight into the bag. Shut it. Use a rolling pin and just smash it up. I don't want to turn it into a fine crumb, so I want big bits and little bits. Have you ever had a cheesecake base where it is so solid and so compact and so thickly packed that when you go to cut it, you can't get your knife in? And when you do get your knife in, your cheesecake goes flying? I hate that in a cheesecake. It totally destroys the cheesecake experience. So, eat your cheesecake back to front. Now that I've got that off my chest, let's move on. Pour in the cooled honey and melted butter. For even more sweetness, add in some demerara sugar, and for crunch and a touch of luxury, hazelnut and dark chocolate chunks. And that is my base that's not a base done. Once all the elements have cooled, all that's left is to put it all together. Oh, glorious cheesecake. And that is more like it. Ordinary is great, but ordinary is boring. Back to front. Back to front is the way to go. This is one of my favourite desserts. My family love it too, and in my opinion, all the best cakes are a little bit back to front.